Hi everybody, this is Sir Psha, back another day with an unboxing. And for someone that never travels, that doesn't go to the gym, that doesn't have any uses for a bag, I sure do buy a lot of bags. And this one, I can admit, I think is really ridiculous. It's absolutely uh, Louis Vuitton wannabe. Uh, looks like something, <laughs> something you would, would, would be buying in Thailand or something. But I really liked it. I really liked it when I saw it. So this is the Jordan Monogram Duffel. Uh, the size is uh, 47 centimeters, uh, 29, and uh, I think 12 in the bottom or something. So I would call it uh, like a 45 bag, maybe maybe between a 45 and a 50 because it's, it is 47. So let me show you what it looks like. It was actually a bit smaller than I expected. Uh, I first thought it was going to be like a 55. I'm speaking Louis Vuitton sizes now. Uh, 55 means 55 centimeters. I thought it was going to be that big, but I want it as a daily bag. I'm not going to use this. I'm absolutely not going to use it. I hope I do, but I really don't think I'm going to because it really looks like a fake Louis Vuitton bag, like a Damir bag, even if, if this one is called uh, monogram, because the number 23 isn't Michael Jordan's monogram, but still super cool. Uh, so where was I? I don't remember, but I do like daily bags, duffel bags or what we call weekend bags like this, but size, uh, small enough to be used as a daily bag. So here we have a pocket on the inside. We can see the Jordan name logo. Pocket with the zipper. Big enough for like passport phone. There is no base plate in the bottom. And uh, that's it. No extra pockets on the inside. The shoulder strap has this padded pillow, which was really padded actually. So that's nice. We have the gold logo here, the gold logo on the front. And since I got another package today, a pillow, which is quite big actually. No, I'm gonna put something else in the bag. I just took a smaller pillow instead. Um, so what I don't like about these kind of bags is that the zipper on top is usually kind of small. And in this case, which is normal, the zipper doesn't go all the way out. Uh, so there's like a centimeter left on the sides. So the zipper uh, or the loading pocket is kind of small, but it is a daily bag. It isn't a weekend bag, I would say. No real leather, no nothing like that. But it looks good, it does. And I, I hope I'm going to use it actually. Because I have been thinking of buying, I have several Louis Vuitton bags and other, other bags as well. And I lost my beloved 45 size bag. So I've been thinking of buying me a monogram keep all Louis Vuitton again, uh, 45 bag. But I think this, I think this will do it. I don't like black and it is black. Or is it maybe dark blue? No, hey, it's black, yeah. And here we have the, what is it called? Where you put your name and address if the bag would be lost. Absolutely a Louis Vuitton wannabe bag. Absolutely. 
but I like it. I do like it. The sizing is good for, for a daily bag. And I like the gold. Uh, soft, really soft. I'm, I'm impressed about the shoulder strap. I'm, I am. Soft and uh, extra padded. The price in US were $125. It sold out instantly and now selling reselling for $150 plus. And that's what I paid 150 euro, which is the same as dollars nowadays. Uh, because Nike Europe didn't sell it. Uh, so I couldn't find it on the on the European Nike site. They had one much, much smaller, something like this, a ladies bag. They have the backpack, uh, but not this one. And I've seen that it's also available in red. And I like, I want that one as well, but I haven't found it. And everything I Google from, that I find on Google is sold out everywhere. But I do like it. With the gold Jordan logo. I think I'm going to use it actually. And I like it that it doesn't look super black because I, I think black is the most boring color there is. Yeah. What do you think? Is it ridiculous as I thought first? Or is it just really cool? And especially because I have much more expensive bags. I have Louis Vuitton bags, etc., etc. And to use this one instead because I love Michael Jordan and the Jordan brand and the Jordan sneakers. And I think this is the right kind of bag for me. I think it is. I don't know if I'm just trying to convince myself to use it. But I do like it. So I'm going to remove the plastic to show you what it really looks like. So yeah, it is black. It's just my lighting that uh, make it looks kind of dark blue in my eyes. But it is as black as it gets. And of course, no real leather, nothing like that. So I guess it makes all you tree huggers happy or something. I don't know. But I do like it. Good size. I hope I'm going to wear it. Or wear it. Use it. As my daily bag. And I'm going to uh, our biggest car show soon. Where I usually have like five, seven bags with me. So I'm going to use it then at least. I like it. Um... $125, that's a great price. I think people are thinking that a standard cotton or whatever with polyester um, workout bag, duffel bag, uh, $100 is a bit much, but it is Jordan brand, it is Nike. Hey, that's up to you. I mean, it's sold out anyway. I'm hoping that they will restock it. I'm hoping for more colors. I'm hoping to get the red one. I don't want to pay resale. Uh, even though I found it on Zalando. I don't have the bag left. Uh, which is a official Nike retailer that now collaborates with Nike. So you can get Nike points. I, I didn't get that thing. Um, but the pricing here in Sweden for me was 145 euro and that's what they go for on StockX I think 145 to 157 or something on eBay they were more expensive people are asking uh, over 200 dollars for them some marks uh, the handle has been uh, yeah that was kind of ugly but I want to know what do you think about it? Is it ridiculous? Is it cool? Is it too much a Louis Vuitton wannabe? Does that make it look fake? 
or should you just don't care and rock it? I mean, for the money, it's a cool looking bag. Thanks for watching.